Okay, now we're going to start a series of lectures on subnetting. Subnetting is a very difficult topic to get your hands around sometimes, uh, especially wrapping your mind around it. But with a little practice in binary and decimal conversion and understanding what we do here on the board, you should be okay. You can always come back to these little videos to review what we were doing. First thing I'd like to do, though, is review our calculating of addresses, how we do that. Let's take an address, 172, okay, 172.16.20.0. Now remember the prefix number. I'm going to give this a prefix of 25. 25 bits are for my network. That leaves me how many bits for my hosts? Seven. Always remember, we have 32 bits total. If I take 25 bits for my network, I've got seven left over to define my hosts. Let's see what this looks like in binary. 172 is 128, and 32 is 160, and then I need 12 more. There's 172 in binary, 8 bits. Remember the positional values. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. We double as we move to the left. We have as we move to the right. Okay, so 172.16. There's 16 dot 20, 16 and 4. And then I'm going to put the eight zeros down here because, well, I'll put them here. Okay, so that's 172.16.20.0. Now remember, I have a slash 25 for my prefix. That means I'm taking 25 bits for my network. So what am I going to take for my network? I'm going to take these 8 bits, these 8 bits, these 8 bits, that's 24, and then I'm also going to take 1 bit out of that byte. Okay, this is my network. The importance of that bit right there is, that can either be a 0 or a 1, correct? 0 or 1. If it's 0, this whole byte is 0. If it's 1, the bit positional value of that bit is 128. Okay, so that would change this network address from 172.16.20.0 to 172.16.20.128. Okay, but we're not doing that. We're just figuring out, calculating our various addresses with 172.16.20. Okay. So this is what we're working with. Our first step, your first step always should be step one, calculate your network. What is your network address? Okay. By writing this out in binary and drawing our fence or our line where the network portion ends, we can always get our network address. Remember, in the network address, all host bits are zero. They are. So this would be my network address, 172.16.20.0. Okay. So I've calculated my network address, 172.16.20.0. That's not the full network address. So full network address also includes a prefix. Slash 25. Okay, step two. Step two, I need to calculate my lowest host address. Okay, again, where are my host bits? These are my host bits. These are my network bits. To here, these are my host bits. Okay. 
So if I want to take zero, and I, I can't use zero because that's part of the network address. If I want to make my first host address, all I got to do is add one. If I change this last bit to one, I've now got my lowest host address. My lowest host address in this case, 172.16.20.1 slash 25. Okay, next thing, the easiest thing to do after this is to figure out my broadcast address. Now remember the broadcast address was a result of turning all the host bits on. So this portion here I've got oops, too many. I've got these seven bits turned on. Okay, so now I've got to calculate my broadcast address. Well, notice the 172.16.20 hasn't changed. We can never change that. But what is this number here for this byte? Seven bits are on. We need to add them up, right? One, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two. 64. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. If I add all of them up, I come up with 127. You want to take the time to do that? Fine. But remember what I told you you can always take the next positional value, in this case 128, and subtract 1. 127. That'll always give you your broadcast. Okay, so my broadcast then is 172.16.20.127 slash 25. Okay. Now I want to calculate my highest host address. My highest host address would have to be one less than the broadcast, right? Well, if I subtract one from here, Let's do it down here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, minus 1. What do I have left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1 minus 1 is 0. Okay. All you got to do really is change the last bit back to 0. Now what do I have? Well, I have this same string. I'm going to add them all up, except I'm going to take that one off because I don't have a one there. I have a zero. So now that gives me 126. So my highest host is 172.16.20.126. And notice I haven't moved the fence at all. I'm still slash 25. Okay. Once I have my network, my lowest host, my highest host, and my broadcast address, I can now, in step five, show what the host range is. This is the range of addresses I can use for my hosts. Obviously, it will be from the lowest to the highest. So my host range is 172.16.20.1. Okay. And that's how we calculate the addresses we're going to use. This you need to get under your belt before we get into subnetting, which we're going to do in the very next letter, uh, very next lecture. We're going to start our subnetting lectures. Subnetting 101. Okay? Understand, though, calculating addresses. This is very important.